We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Houston Astros. Who's going to win this showdown between these two? Find out next. Justin Verlander, a Virginia-born right-hander, gets the ball to start this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Manny V, this ought to be a lot of fun. This guy won the Cy Young Award last year in the AL, so he knows how to pitch. And one of the things he does effectively, he attacks the strike zone. And if he does that, he should be fun to watch in this one. At the plate, Brett Gardner. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Leading off tonight for the Yankees, the designated hitter, Brett Gardner. Here comes the first pitch. First pitch, stick go five. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Ball. Too high. One and two. One ball. Good night two for three. baseball. 69 degrees here at first pitch. Ball. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball, then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. I really liked it. He the gave up baseball. nibbling out of the zone trying to get him to chase. That wasn't working, so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. Inside, As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. And, fellows, these Astros entering play here tonight have got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now, winners of eight of their last ten ball games. What an opportunity to get a chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. This team has played so well. Their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working. Timely hitting. Great defense. Good bullpen. The starters have been on point. This is going to be special. Outside, 3-0 oh, oh now. His line against Justin Verlander. He's a 333 hitter, 5 for 15. He's taken him deep once. A 3-0. -oh. Smoke toward the hole. And that'll find its way into right field for a one-out single. There's the danger of falling behind 3-0. You don't know which guys in that the lineup hurt. outside the middle of the, the order are going to pull the trigger in a spot like that. Aaron. He was one of them. 3-0 no. swing in the bat. Aggressive hack. Nice base hit. Now in the box, Aaron Judge. And he's really been feeling it at the plate the last week or so. Definitely one player to keep your eye on right now. First pitch on its way from Verlander. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. A good fastball above the belt is normally a pitch that batters love to take a rip at, but that one froze him. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's 1 and 1 now. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. LeMahieu leads off second with one gun in the inning. Still two and two.
Working for the punch out and the offering. And this pitch is swung on and missed. And the AL's leading hitter is set down on strikes. Two away. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good, high, hard fastball. Ball one. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Ball and a strike. One and one. <laughs> Swing and a miss on a pitch yeah. outside. One, one and two. two now. These are the moments right here. You got a good pitcher on the mound. You don't know if these opportunities are going to present themselves throughout the course of the game. You have to capitalize in this situation. And it's fouled away. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. Well, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Fouled off. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full now, three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher but you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. This one's down to third. On to the first baseman Guriel and that will end the inning. So they get a man to second here in the opening half inning but fail to capitalize. Now the Astros will get their first opportunity. No score. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you take a look at this guy's ERA. Any ERA under four is pretty good in this day and age of baseball. When we have all these high-scoring, high-flying affairs, this guy knows how to pitch. He knows how to control the running game. And most importantly, he's not Way afraid to, to throw Four strikes. Astros. We'll see how he does in this one. The left fielder. Striding into the box, Michael, Michael Brantley. they lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they came up a little short last time out, but they've still been one of the hotter teams around, winning eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty, taking a look at the standings right here, this team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't... One series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings, and this team, this team's sitting pretty right now. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Now the 2 1. Aye. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Boom goes the dynamite. So it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first. Home run number five on the year, and the Astros take a one to nothing lead.
Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run it to early in the game, and he does just that, blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. The third base. And that'll bring up Alex, Alex. Bregman. As Bregman. the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He enters play with 14 home runs to his credit this year. Two and zero now. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. The two one home. Down to three one. Jose Altuve is on deck. Three and two. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Now the three and two pitch. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Judge moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. Batting third, the second baseman. Jose Altuve. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, and he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Fastball here, too low, and it's 1 0. Now pitch on the way. Had to be sitting something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch, but it was right down the chute. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The 2 1 is That's taken, over. ball three. Jordan Alvarez is on deck. Just down. behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Woo -wee. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. The 3 2 pitch. And he nope, misses ball, ball four. four. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher Batting right four. there. A 3 that's 2 offering hitter. that was right on the Your corner, God. but he couldn't get him to chase, and Alvarez. he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Next will be the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He's hitless in the first two games of the series, 0 for 8. As a look, now the pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. I got the count. One and two. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent that because if it's put in play, the first there's baseman. a good chance it's on the Julie ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout Go always down. works too.
Now the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And that finds the target nothing in two now. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. They'll extend their lead here as the runner scores from first. I guess their scouting reports on this guy were dead on because it's already 2-0 in the early going, and they're having absolutely no trouble seeing him here. On the other side, they're very quickly looking at a game that they're going to have to fight back in. Standing in, George Springer. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. The 1-0. -oh. Two balls, no strike. Well, this is starting to feel like a make-or-break moment in this game. When you're playing a first-place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. And he started to go around there, and it'll cost him, as they say. He did swing the bat. It's 2-1. and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. The Astros lead it two to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Mike Talkman. He'll get us started in the top of the, the second. Hey, we're still in Mike. the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Hey. The windup and the 0-1. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. <laughs> no, that was that pretty impressive, Matt. I really like the a catcher. pitcher that trusts Gary. and works off his Thank fastball. You. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. As he oh, looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He'll check in here at 277. 13 home runs and 30 RBIs. The 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. One ball, one strike. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Brantley is under it. Two down. Batting seven. The third baseman, Gio Urshela. In now, Gio Urshela. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. First offering on its way. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. The 0 1. 
Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Hits this one hard the other way. Yuli will take this one himself, and that ends the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Astros two, and the Yankees nothing. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. Nine at-bats in the series and four base hits. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First delivery to him on the way. 1-0. Now a check swing here, but the home plate umpire says he went around and no argument, and it's one and one. Here it comes. Yeah, he just isn't that sharp on the mound right now. Had a rough start in the first inning, and now he's falling behind out of the gate here in the second. Some adjustments need to be made and fast. Astro shortstop in front with a three and one count. He walked a guy back in the first and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Hey. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Hey, pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Batting eight. So here's Josh Reddick. Two hits and eight tries for the series. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Ball, that's out. One out, nobody on. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Three and oh now. Well, he knows it. But this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat. So it's time to challenge him right here. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. We knew coming into this Batting game nine. that this guy has a the tendency catcher. to give up a yeah, lot right. of free passes. And history oh. repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. So striding forward now, Garrett Stubbs. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. From the stretch. Bold strike at the letters, 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Really one pulled ball. that one across as the slider misses well inside. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. That's lifted the other way out to left. Stanton has a read on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. 
now batting. The left fielder, Michael Brantley. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that brings in the left-handed hitting outfielder, Michael Brantley. Yeah, Matt, and that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner not as appealing. Comes set with the 0-1. Strike two. He's looking pretty okay. passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Nope. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. Full sets. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. Two and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Back with more Sunday night baseball following this. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. Glaber Torres. First pitch on its way. Ball one. Count one and oh. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Now a ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. Solo shot here to left. Home run number nine on the year. And the Yankees are on the board. It's now a 2-1 ball game. This guy has been a serious thorn in the side of the staff. Homering twice in three days. The numbers don't lie. He owns these guys right now. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. Uh, so Wade out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. He'll start this one at 269. One home run and 11 RBIs. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. One. one and one. No outs, nobody on. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. To two and two now. And now pitch on the way. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that two-two pitch there, but kind of overdid it with a pitch that high it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter and he fouls this one off bases are empty here nobody out swing and he popped him up over in foul territory back behind third Bregman is over and he puts oh, it away for the eight. first down and with that, let's take a moment to show you what's happening in the American League's Western Division. Here's Brett Gardner now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. Hit back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. 
Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside yeah, half of the plate right there. The first Try to bust him in, d row and he yeah, fights yeah. it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMay here. A pitch out. The throw. And just great defensive baseball there as they will nail him at second on the pitch out. It's nowhere near the zone. It's 2 0 now. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 0. Now, with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3 0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. There's ball four. Now batting, right fielder, Aaron. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. From the stretch. 1 0. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. That's by him for strike one. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. The 1-1 home. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Brentley will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. The Yankees claw back a bit thanks to the home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's the Astros two and the Yankees one. And we're back in Houston. Welcome back to Minute Maid Park as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I discussed the Astros offense with Houston's manager. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Thank you, Heidi. Bottom of the inning now, digging in for his second at-bat, Alex throw. Bregman. He flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went Bregman. deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. A ball of no strikes. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Now the two one pitch. Nope, that's the ball. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. And I'm sure the manager is just now fine with that. I mean, it's the better to battle basement. a slugger like that okay. to the end and end up walking him oh, than serving on up where he can really hurt you. 
So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve with 10 runs batted in on five hits in the series. He's a guy to keep an eye on in this one. Here comes the first pitch. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. And he popped him up. Torres has a play, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. That's exactly the what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took hitter. him up the ladder, Your and dog. he couldn't get up to it. So that was an Alvarez. easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Now at the plate, Jordan Alvarez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. He's set. Here it comes. Line towards center field. But he'll close fast out there as he puts it away chest high, and the runner will be forced to head back to first. The batter, the first baseman, Yulieski Gurry Hell. So here's Yuli Guriel. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Pretty unusual that you see a 5-0 hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. Now the 0-2 pitch. Whoa, that's down. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. The 1 2 is swung on and missed. He got him. One left for Houston. They lead it 2 to 1. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right, Heidi, thank you. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander to start the inning. Lofted in the air out to right field. On the move is Reddick. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now batting, the center fielder, Mike Talkman. Stepping in, Mike Talkman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see yeah. if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. And the pitch. That misses one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Fastball well outside. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Two two pitches fouled away. Pitch on the way. Fouled away. The 2-2 one more time. And 
it's fouled away. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even Gary. if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll take a look at a curveball that drops in there on the outer half, it's strike one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Now here's the pitch. Nope. Could take there to lay off the high fastball. Nope. One and one. One run on three hits and no errors for the Yankees so far. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. So the Yanks go one two three. Our score remains two to one. Next up for the Strohs, George Springer comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. George Springer. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Count 1 and 0. Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. Eight, a ball and two. two strikes now. Ball. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Swing and a line drive, but foul. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Oh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Carlos Correa comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Two runs on two hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And 2-0 and now as this misses below the knees. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. Two balls and a strike. I got two hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Correa in front, three balls and a strike. Do next is Josh Reddick as he gets ready in the on deck circle. And a called strike on the outside corner there. It's full now, three and two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks now really bad. sharp right out there, guys. Just ready. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. 
as he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. The numbers coming in, 278 the average, five homers and 15 RBIs. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Fastball, and that thing's a blur up there, folks. One and one. That and he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Cole's ready. Here's the pitch. Ball three. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. And it's up to a three, two full count now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. The next three, two. And that one's taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Now batting, catcher, Garrett. Coming to the plate now, Garrett Stubbs. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. From the stretch. Off the plate, ball one. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Swung on and missed. One, one and one. one. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Astros leave one as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. All ready to go in the top of the fifth at the plate. Gio Urshela. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Hard hit ball to second. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. All right, let's see if that leadoff single gets him going now right that, now. They've taken it on the chin for most labor, of this game. Being a little passive at the plate in their approach. Let's see if that starts him off and they start to go more ambush tactics. So now to the plate, Torres. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He homered back in the third inning in this one. In the dirt here. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Nope. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Reddick has a read on it and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting, second baseman, Tyler Wade. Now at the plate, Tyler Wade. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Oh, and one count and the pitch. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0 2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Runners on first with one down. 
down and away. It's a ball and two strikes. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. That's lifted the other way out to left. Brantley is under it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, the designated hitter, Brett Gardner. In now is the Yankees DH Brett Gardner. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. From the belt the pitch. That one doesn't even sniff the zone missing very high. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Can't waste getting the leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. On its way is pitch number 75. Hey. In there at the letters, one and two now. Verlander starting to run up his pitch count. He's at 75 thus far. The one two. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Skied into straightaway right. And Reddick will put this one away to retire the side. The Yanks leave one. They're down 2-1. Here's Michael Brantley. He'll get his side started in the inning, and Dan, so far they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have. Man. They came out of the gates and got hot right away, but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. And now a pitch on the way. Hey! Chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Third baseman, number two. So the bases are empty with Alex. one man gone. And that'll Bregman. bring up Alex Bregman. First offering on its way. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Counts even one and one to Alex Bregman. Bases are empty, one man out. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Pretty good pitch right there, fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Line to the right side. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Now batting, the second baseman, Jose. So a runner at first with one man gone, and striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fly ball right down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. One strike now from Cole. 
Oh, and two. Fouled off. The 0-2 once more. I got to count one and two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. The one and two pitch. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell oh, you, he could good. rack up quite a few more that's before he's done. It. Still a lot Your of dog. game left in this one. Alvarez. At the plate, Jordan Alvarez. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. and oh. And here in just the fifth inning, this will be pitch number 100 here. Boy, pitch count up near 100 right now, d -Row. And this is when you try to get to a good starting pitcher. Right now, looks like he's running on fumes. Yeah, the manager's got to get a couple people up in the bullpen right now. One ball hits the gap. They get runners in scoring position. This game could be out of commission. Two well count the pitch three nope. and oh now if I'm managing nope. this hitter right here he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach you know he's got the green light he's one of the best hitters in your lineup that finds the zone a cold strike got to believe he had the green light in that situation two outs three oh count this guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. And it's full now, three and two. And that misses, ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He the first just pick, missed, and 10. now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Very hell. Digging in, Yuli Gurriel, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And that's oh, by him, it's 0-1. The guy in the mound is having one heck of a night, but the downside of that, if you're going to strike out a lot of guys, your pitch count is going to be high, so this gives the offense some kind of hope as this game's getting down to the end. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Two down runners at first and second. Down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball and it's still 0-2. Owen 2 here it is. Grounded back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And that's going to plate the runner from second as this is now a three to one ball game. The center fielder, number four. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. George Springer the next to hit as he'll take a look ball at a one, pitch no too pitch. low it's ball one he's hitless in his two at bats so far one and no pitch on the way a couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen.
hoping to limit the damage. Here's the pitch. Nope. A little bit outside. Two and one. A couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Hits are now even at four apiece. A bouncer to the left side. Scooped up. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. Astros forced to settle for only the one run. Five innings complete. Houston leads this one three to one. Leading off the inning, DJ LeMayhew, and they'll need him to get something going here. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. To two balls and two strikes now. Swing and a liner. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first the out. Fielder, number 99, Aaron Judd. Now at the plate, Aaron Judge. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First delivery to him on the way. A bouncer up the middle. Throw on to first, and Verlander's got it going here. Two away. Now batting, left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Wind up and the 0 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Two out, nobody on. High in the air and deep to left center field. Back goes Springer to the track. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Now batting. Any hitter will tell you that a shot like that just Mike. feels different. It Talk. sounds different off the bat. See his arms get extended. Right arm tucked up against his body. Barrel the bat all over the ball. And he smokes it right off the wall at left center. A little more hang time. And that one probably gets out of here. Into the box. Mike Talkman. As he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. No hits to this point. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Danger averted following the two out double. We've got more on this Sunday night after this. Yuri Sessa enters to do the pitching now in the bottom of the sixth. Number 85, 
Luis Sessa. Here's Carlos Correa now. No hits in two trips to, to the plate for, for him Astros. in the ball game. Not shortstop. Carlos Correa. First pitch coming. Here it is. Way late on the oh, fastball for strike one. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Two and one. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. Trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball, and he missed it. It's three and one now. Well, that's ball three, and the Astros right now would do anything to get this leadoff hitter on. And he fouls this one off. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He's right there. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. Now batting. The right fielder. Josh. Reddick. Digging in. Josh Reddick. First pitch on its way. Out into right center. Well hit. Reddick around the bag at first. Heading for second now. And he'll pull into second with one away. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing Catcher. right now. So this yeah, is a right. big moment in this game. If his oh. teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. to the plate now Garrett Stubbs this will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one 0 for 2 from him so far in this one tried to get him to go after the slider but it's one and one and some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up one out and a runner on second base. And here's one that misses to the Houston catcher. It's two and one now. From the belt, the pitch. Swinging a soft liner, and this is taken for the out. Now batting, left fielder. Michael Brantley. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Michael Brantley, runner in scoring position with Sugan. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Yeah. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. Well struck down the right field line. But just fouls as he just misses extra bases. Hits are even right now at five aside. And he missed with it. It's one and two. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to three and two. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Two out here and a runner at second. Got 
Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. One left for Houston. And it's still three to one. Leading off the inning, Gary Sanchez. As they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Slap hard the opposite way. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. That's what you call a now clutch piece it. of hitting. Down the two runs, he puts himself in he scoring goes. position and Third brings the out. tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. As he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Two and one now. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Sent foul again and after being way ahead now it's even at two and two. This is swung on and hit to Altuve at second. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The batter, the shortstop, Labor Torres. Stepping in, Torres. He homered back in the third inning in this one. First delivery to him on the way. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. This is where, as a batter, you've got to find a way. To put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0 2 pitch. Great job of running that fastball in on his hands right there with two strikes. Even though the batter's able to foul that one off, he's set up for almost anything in this pitcher's arsenal. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. In the dirt and block behind the plate. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Verlander still with one earned run on his line through six and a third. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. He was the definitely pitching for it with a runner on third and one out, and he got Tyler. it. Now it's going to take a Three. hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. At the plate now, Tyler Wade. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is account for a fastball challenge 
And we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Now the 2-0. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Got him swinging in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Back-to-back -back strikeouts Wait, keep him out of danger. Back with more Sunday Night Baseball following this. Your ben Heller complete. will come on in relief now, now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Number 61, Ben Heller. At the plate, Alex Bregman. He reached out a single go. last time Astros. and later wound up scoring. The third baseman, Alex Bregman. First offering on its way. Low for ball one. Heller, 28 years old. He was taken in the 22nd round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Well, that's and this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2-0 now. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Three and one, the count now. Hey. And a full count now. Three and two. Can't lose, Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3-0 and to punch him out, one away. Well, we've seen some really good pitching now from these back. guys in this Second one. Base the base. bullpen has looked sharp Hook and have backed up a nice effort all turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Stepping in now, Jose Altuve. As the first pitch oh, misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. One ball, one strike to count. The 1-1. One, one. One ball and two strikes to count. One out, nobody on. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Three and two now. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Now the payoff pitch home. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back back K's, and he's making it look Designated pretty easy. Hitter. This has the makings Your of a dog. good outing so far. Alvarez. So now to the plate, Jordan Alvarez. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 1 0 home. Bases are empty here with two men out. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Oh, 
Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Three and two. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. So that's the second now walk that. he's worked First in this baseman. one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Astros leave one, but they hang on to a three-to-one lead. Joe Smith gentlemen. will Your come on out of the please. bullpen as he'll be appearing now, in his third game this season. Number 38, Joe Smith. Ready to begin the eighth. Now at the plate, Brett Lady Gardner. Gardner. He's working on a one for three hitter. thus far. Brett Gardner. Pitch on the way. Hey. Down, one and one. One one pitch and a good sinker there, but he can't find the zone two and one. Smith was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right hander. Two two. That's lifted the other way out to left. After it is Brantley, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Man, that swing now looked that. like self-defense and a real quality swing, but hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. At the plate, D.J. LeMayhew as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Eighth inning of this low-scoring affair. Three to one our score. And he misses with it one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Aye. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. He'll try again, one, two. ball sent back up the middle. There is Altuve. Throw to first is in time for the first down. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judd. 
So a runner stands at third. One man is out. And that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. First pitch on its way. Now the fastball was swung on and missed. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. One out and a runner on third. And here's a foul ball just off to the right as they get ahead of him here. Nothing in two. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. All right, no more hope, and he's going to chase. It's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. Got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Classic slider down and away oh, for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. Fielded cleanly. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. One left for the Yankees. Score holds. It's 3-1. to one. Tommy Kingley is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. Ready once again, George Springer. He could really Liga, use a knock here, Astros. 0 for 3 in the game the so far. Joel Springer. First pitch of the at bat on its way. This one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. One and one. Here it comes. Here's a big swing now by Springer, but he was a little early that time as it finds the seats foul. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Fouled away. Grounded to first. LeMayhew's got it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. The batter, number one. Good stop. Carlo Correa. Stepping into the box, Carlos Correa. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Now the 1-0. Oh. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. A strike and it's two and one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 change up for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. The 
2 1 home. Ball left outside. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full, three and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. He's set, here's the three and two. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Now batting, the right fielder, Josh. So a runner at first now with one away, and that brings up the former gold lover, Josh Reddick. Has a look, now the pitch. 1-0. Runner at first here, one man out. A ball and a strike. One and one. Reddick right. behind the ball and two strikes. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Now batter. Stepping the in and ready for another shot, yeah, right. Garrett Stubbs. He's hitless oh. in three at bats to this point. He's set and the pitch and who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside it's nothing in one and it's quickly 0 and 2 a runner on first with two away ball one. fastball just misses that's ball that's one two. one and two A two and two count to the Astros catcher. The two two doesn't get the zone count full now. Good spot for an RBI put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Good battle count remains full. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The left fielder, number 23. Adam Adovino enters here looking to get the final out Your before the ninth leads. inning. Now pitching for the New York Yankees. Number zero, Adam Adovino. Michael Brantley will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. From the stretch. And he lays off there 1-0. Oh.
from the belt the pitch line to the right side and that'll get down out there near the wall he pulls into second safely as also on the play a run comes across Third to base score base number two. hey Dero that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning yeah Dan no doubt as an offense all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful giving them that three run cushion has to make you feel good. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. No problem with that take right there. First pitch from a reliever. Got to calibrate that velocity. The 0 1 offering. Runners at second and third with two gone. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Astros pick up a run on the RBI double. Last chance coming up here for the Bombers. It's now 4-1 to one Houston. Roberto Ozuna takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. All set to start the ninth in this one. Stepping into the box, Mike Tuckman. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. and one delivery here's a late swing and a miss strike two he knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here all he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero and it's fouled away two delivery and he'll strike out here yet again as it's been a ball game to forget thus far four strikeouts and there are the final the numbers for the Astros the starting pitcher and he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening yeah he looked really dialed in from start to finish this is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there so I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one into the box now Gary Sanchez Strike one to start the at bat. One out, nobody on. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. On the first in time, and the Yankees are down to their final out now. Now batting, the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Into the box now, Gio Urshela. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Now, barring any late turnaround, this win would belong to Justin Verlander. Two out, nobody on. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time it's about 150 oh, ABs right. to 200 ABs. Where you start Labor. figuring out what type of season cool. you're going to have. He's obviously in May and he's on fire. d -Road, he's been locked in from day one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it. And he continues to hit line drives. 
He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Has a look now the pitch. One and one. Hit to third. Bregman fields it cleanly. Oh, but it's a wide throw to second, and they can't get the out. And they won't get him as he's able to advance from first to third on what would certainly be the scored a throwing four. error. And as a former pitcher, I can tell you, nothing is more painful than having to get extra outs in an inning. That should have been out number three there. Instead, he has to refocus and get back to work. So coming to the plate, Tyler Wade. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep. But if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. With runners in scoring position this season, Wade is exactly a 400 hitter. These are the type of hitters that absolutely frustrate a pitching staff and a pitching coach. He's not trying to do a ton of damage, but he's certainly going to put the ball in play and be a pest the entire season. Runners on first and third, two away. And he popped him up. Correa over to his left, makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. A 4-1 to one finish in this evening's game. Houston jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Justin Verlander earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Garrett Cole struck out 10 in the losing effort. Roberto Ozuna earns the save out of the bullpen his 14th. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.